And hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2024. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we are going to be covering Psalms 60 through 62 and Romans 5. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your Word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. For the director of music to the tune of the Lily of the Covenant, a mech dam of David, for Chichi, when he fought Aram Neharam and Aram Zobah, and when Joab returned and struck down 12,000 Edomites in the Valley of Salt. Psalm 60 You have rejected us, God, and burst upon us. You have been at agony. Now restore us. You have shaken the land and torn it open. Mend its fractures, for it is quaking. You have shown your people desperate times. You have given us wine that makes us stagger. But for those who fear you, you have raised a banner to be unfurled against the bow. Save us and help us with your right hand. Those you love may be delivered. God has spoken from his sanctuary in triumph. I will parcel out Shechem and measure off the valley of sackcloth. Gilead is mine and Manesh is mine. Ephraim is my helmet, Judea is my scepter, Moab is my wash basin. On Adam I toss my sandal, over Philistine I shout in triumph. Who will bring me to the fortified city? Who will lead me to Adam? Is it not you, God, you who have now rejected us, and no longer go out with our armies, give us aid against the enemy, for human help is worthless. With God, we will gain the victory, and he will trample down our enemies. For the director of music, with stringed instruments of David, Psalm 60. Hear my cry, O God, listen to my prayer. From the ends of the earth I call to you. I call as my heart grows faint. Lead me to the rock that is higher than I. For you have been my refuge, a strong tower against the foe. I long to dwell in your tent forever and take refuge in the shelter of your wings. For you, God, have heard my vows. You have given me the heritage of those who fear your name. Increase the days of the king's life, his years for many generations. May he be enthroned in God's presence forever. Appoint your love and faithfulness to protect him. And then I will ever sing in praise of your name and fulfill my vows that day after day. Psalm from the director of music for Judith, a psalm of David, Psalm 62. Truly my soul finds rest in God. My salvation comes from Him. Truly He is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress. I will never be shaken. How long will you assault me? Would all of you throw me down? His leaning wall, this tottering fence, surely they intend to trample me from uh, my lofty place. And they take delight in lies. With their mouths they bless, but in their hearts they curse. Yes, my soul finds rest in God, and my hope comes from Him. 
Truly he is my rock and my salvation. He is my fortress, and I will not be shaken. My salvation and my honor depend on God. He is my mighty rock, my refuge. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts to him, for God is our refuge. Surely the lowborn are but a breath, and the highborn are but a lie. If weighted on a balance, they are nothing together, they are only breath. Do not trust in exhortation or put vain hope in stolen goods. Though through your riches increase, do not set your heart on them. One thing God has spoken, two things I have heard. Power belongs to you, God, and with you, Lord, is unfailing love. And you reward everyone according to what they have done. That was Psalms 60 through 62. And now we will be turning to Romans 5. Peace and Hope. Romans 5. Therefore, since we have been justified through faith, we have peace with God through the Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have gained access by faith into this grace in which we now stand. And we boast in the hope of the glory of God. Not only so, but we also glory in our suffering because we know that suffering produces perseverance, perseverance, character, and character, hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured out into our hearts through the Holy Spirit, who has been given to us. You see, at just the right time when we were still powerless. Christ died for the ungodly. Very rarely will anyone die for a righteous person, though for a good person someone might possibly dare die. But God demonstrates his own love for us in this way. While we were still sinners, Christ died for us. And since we have now been justified by his blood, how much more shall we be saved from God's wrath through him? For if, while we were God's enemies, we were reconciled to him through the death of his son, how much more, having been reconciled, shall we be saved through his life? Not only to this so, but we also boast in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. Death through Adam, life through Christ. Therefore, just as sin entered the world through one man, and death through sin, in this way, death came to all people because all sinned. To be sure, sin was in the world before the law was given, but sin is not changed or is not charged against anyone's account where there is no law. Nevertheless, death reigned from the time of Adam to the time of Moses, then over those who did not sin by breaking commands, as did Adam who is a pattern of the one to come. But the gift is not like the trespass, for if the many died by the trespass of their one man, how much more did God's grace and the gift that came by the grace of one man, Jesus Christ, overflow to the many. Nor can the gift of God be compared 
with the result of one man's sin. The judgment followed one sin and brought condemnation, but the gift followed many trespassers and brought justification. For if by the trespasses of one man death reigned through that one man, how much more will those receive God's abundant provision of grace and of the gift of righteousness reign in the life through the one man, Jesus Christ. Consequently, just as one trespasses results in condemnation for all people, so also one righteous act resulted in justification and life for all people. For just as though the disobedient of one man, the many were made sinners, so also through the obedience of one man, the many will be made righteous. The law was brought in so that the trespasses might increase, but where sin increased, grace increased all the more, so that just as sin reigned in death, so also grace might reign through righteousness to bring eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. And that was Romans 5, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Psalms 63 through 65 and Romans 6. Father, I just thank you for your word. For without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. And so therefore, I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, amen. I'd like to thank you folks for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2024 for today. And as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I. So come back and see us again tomorrow, because God willing, we will be here. And we hope that you are too. Please like and share.